All right, this is how to install WordPress on localhost. Sounds like developer territory, but the right tool makes it stupid simple. Open your browser and go to localwp.com. There's a big download for free button right on the homepage. Click it and you'll get a pop-up with a form asking for your basic info, platform, first name, last name, work email, and what kind of work you do. Hit get it now and your download starts. Once it's done, find the file in your downloads folder. Double click that file and the installer opens up. It asks who should have access to this app. You can pick everyone on the computer or just yourself. Click Next. The next screen shows where it wants to install local. The default spot works fine, but you can browse to pick somewhere else if you want. Click Install, and it starts doing its thing. Windows might pop up asking if you want to let this app make changes. Just click Yes. You'll see a progress bar showing it's setting everything up. When it's done, there's a checkbox to run local right away. Leave that checked and click Finish. Local opens up with some terms of service stuff. Check the box saying you agree and click I agree. Pretty standard legal stuff. Now you get the welcome screen talking about creating a free account. This gives you cloud backups and some other features, but you can totally skip it if you just want to build sites locally. If you do want an account, you can sign up with Google, GitHub, or just use your email. After that, local asks about sending error reports and usage data. Pick whatever you're comfortable with. It doesn't affect how the app works. Click create a new site to get started. A dialogue pops up with create a new site already selected. Hit continue and you can name your site. I usually just call it something simple, like test site or whatever project I'm working on. You'll see some advanced options showing the local domain and file path, but local generates all that based on your site name. Click continue again and you get to pick your environment. Just go with preferred. It gives you the latest PHP, web server, and MySQL versions that work well together. No need to overthink this part. Now comes the WordPress setup. You need a username for your admin account, a password, and an email. Email. Pick something you'll remember since you'll use this to log into your WordPress dashboard later. There are some advanced settings for language and multi-site, but the defaults are fine for most projects. Click Add Site and Local starts downloading WordPress and setting everything up. This takes a couple minutes depending on your internet speed, so just let it do its thing. When it's finished, you'll see your new site in the local dashboard. It shows it's running and displays all the technical details, like what PHP version it's using. The sidebar now has some extra settings sections, connect for pushing sites live, blueprints for templates, add-ons for extra features, and get help for documentation. To actually see your site, click Open Site. This opens it in your browser just like any other website, except it's running on your computer. To get to the WordPress dashboard, click WP Admin and log in with that username and password you just created, and that's it. You've got WordPress running locally. You can install themes, add plugins, write posts, basically do anything you do on a live site. The cool thing is, it's all happening on your computer, so you can break stuff and experiment without worrying about messing up a real website. Your site runs at something like mytestsite.local, which only works on your machine. Local handles all the server configuration automatically, so you don't have to mess with Apache settings or database stuff. And if you want to make another site, just click the plus button at the bottom of the sidebar. Each site is completely separate with its own files and database. You can stop and start sites using the button in Local's interface. When you stop a site, it's not running anymore, but all your files and settings stay exactly where they are. If you want to dig into the actual files, click Site Folder to open where everything's stored. There's also a database tab if you need to poke around in there, though most of the time you won't need to. Local even handles SSL certificates automatically, so your local sites run on HTTPS, just like real websites. Pretty neat feature that saves you from having to set that up manually. One thing that's really Really handy. If you want to show your local site to someone else, you can use the live link feature to create a temporary public URL. And when you're ready to launch, the connect feature helps you move everything to actual web hosting. The whole setup might seem like a lot of steps, but once you've got it running, spinning up new WordPress sites takes maybe two minutes, way faster than dealing with hosting companies every time you want to test something. That covers everything you need to get WordPress running locally with local WP. Having this setup means you can build and test sites without any of the usual hosting headaches. And if this helped you out, hit that like button and subscribe for more.